That's better. Thank you. It's good. Lights, camera, action. Yes, it's all happening. Microphones, we're all good. I'm just going to focus on a, a little theme for the next couple of weeks called Travelling Light. And I've got a video I want to show you this morning that um, it'll help you when next you're travelling. So if Val's clever, she can press a button and we might see something. We might even have some sound. <laughs>
as we open your word. Lord, walk with us, journey with us. We thank you that everyone matters to you and everyone matters to us. Let's walk through life a little bit lighter, a little bit easier, because we've given it to you. We've laid it down. We've given it away. And so, Lord, we're not burdened. Help us to travel light. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go, let us let go of distractions. Let us let go of bitterness, failures. Let us let go of stuff. It sneaks up on us, doesn't it? It's better to have less of what doesn't matter and more of what does. No doubt this week God has been talking to Rob and God has been talking to me as well. Because Adam and Eve enjoyed paradise. They could eat from all these trees. All these trees that bear fruit except one. Did God really say that? Let us not be deceived. And in Genesis 3, verses 1 to 3, and Rob alluded to this, and now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? Did he really say that? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat from the trees in the garden, but God said we must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you may not even touch it, or you will die. Satan and the world's ongoing lie. What you don't have is what you need. Oh, to be happy, to be fulfilled, to be complete, you need this thing. Surely more is always better, isn't it? Surely more is always better. Remember Sizzler? Surely another plate is always better. Hopefully not. Surely more. But no. Don't just accumulate things. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 6, Better one handful with tranquility than two handfuls with toil and chasing after the wind. Life is too valuable. Our call too great. God too good for us to waste time with the gathering of stuff. Jesus said in Luke 12, 15, Watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in abundance of possessions. Friends, don't find your happiness there. I am not what I have. I'm not what I own or what I drive or what I wear or... These things should not define me, should not define you, because we're going to travel light through life and give thanks to God for all of His blessings. What if the stuff you have is robbing you of the life you want? Throw it out. Sort through it. Is it hard or easy? Does money have a hold on you? Do possessions do things? Are they weighing you down so it's hard and heavy through life? There was a problem for the rich young ruler in Matthew 19. Hey mate, sell what you have and give it to the poor. Come follow me and you'll have treasure in heaven. Jesus said, let go of what doesn't matter, hold on to more of what does, 
Give it away. This was hard for him in Matthew 19, 22. Because money and wealth and status and things had such a hold on him. And when the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. And no doubt it was weighing him down through life. You never know what idols you have until Jesus asks you to give them up. Where are the hoarders? Any hoarders in here today? Anyone brave enough? You know that shed, that back cupboard, that room, you know, yes, oh, yes, just keep that for a rainy day. Two main reasons we hang on to stuff. Fear and it's sentimental. Would you agree? And we might need it one day. Yes, that is the fear. I might need it one day. So we hang on to it. Or our children might want it. They don't live at all near you. They live in Queensland and you're in Tasmania. Oh, sorry. But we hang on to it. Nine trailer loads later. No, don't worry. I've had counseling. Just ask one more. She wants something. Yes. Don't know why you need nine broken umbrellas, but confession is good for the soul. I love my parents dearly. Uh, they're in a better place. But also sentimental. Maybe it was a gift. Maybe someone gave it to you. Maybe there's a childhood memory attached to it. And so you hang on to these things because you might need them one day. And Aunt Ethel gave that to you. And Sometimes it's just hard to let go. But we should trust God to provide. Trust God to be our provider. Might be good to clean out that cupboard. Might be good to throw a few things away that you haven't used for years. Do not let stuff crowd in and crowd us out of what matters most. No doubt you're aware that online shopping has increased. And during our COVID season in Australia, online shopping increased by 67%. Our need for more continues. We build bigger houses to fill them up with more stuff, don't we? Let us choose experiences over things. Create a memory. Give more. Care more, love more, help more, give stuff away more. In the New Testament in 1 Timothy chapter 6, we, we read some words. Commanding those of you who are rich in this present world, not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for this coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly Mine. Take hold of the life that is truly mine. Do good deeds. Be generous. Be willing to share with one another. Because of that, so much happens here in these walls and here outside these walls because of you. Truly Live life. Travel light. Are you accumulating on earth what cannot be kept? Or are you investing in heaven what you cannot lose? We're going to be travelling light. Travelling light. 
Give more. Buy less. Sort through it. Less of what doesn't matter. More of what does. Why? Because life is too valuable. The calling of God too great. Our mission too important. Better one hand full of tranquility. Let go. What do you need to let go of? What emotional baggage are you carrying that, that might be weighing you down? Is it a hurt? Is it unforgiveness? Let these things go so that we can travel light. Travel light. Help someone. Care for someone. Give someone a hand up. Encourage. Bless. Give. Never let stuff keep you from living the life God has for you. And the life God has for me. Sometimes we need to just let it go. And move on. Hand in hand with a great and glorious God. God bless you. Amen.